am I even ready to film this intro? Cue the ambulance. Welcome back to my studio with the Christmas decorations back here. Bruh. So in this vlog, um, it's a bunch of random things. When is it not, right? Uh, so I'm gonna be working on these, which you'll see. Um, you're also gonna see me cook. Maybe not so well. Yeah, and then I'm gonna be working on this Moleskine. And that's really all. nothing else to say. I think that's pretty much it. Let's just go in right into it. Hello, it is another day. So, yesterday I did some inventory. I got these. These. Hello. So these are all the stickers and pins that I have in my Etsy shop right now. And I am currently making some new ones. Already started painting and I do have more in the oven. Isn't this ridiculous? They're cheese puff brush rests. Because I like to make the weirdest things. I thought it was funny. Um, I also have a chili pepper one that I'm working on. And then more Filipino breakfast food. These are watermelon pins that I'm working on. This is the Free Palestine Watermelon Pin. These are going to be on sale at Morian on Etsy. And then um, half of the proceeds are going to be donated to the cause. Honestly, I really hope I'm in frame right now because I'm filming on my phone and I don't know if it's if I'm in focus or if I'm even in the frame. I hope I'm in the frame in a good spot. But anyway, carry on, Erica. This is my very first sketchbook scene. I already showed footage of myself editing it. That was a trick because I honestly um, I feel like I gave them such a hard time because I didn't know how to do bleeds and um, it was my first time actually working with InDesign on an actual print project so I'm glad it came out well so this is it and I even I so I modeled it after my sketch book so this is a vintage sketchbook scene so this is um, based on this guy and um, yeah, so this is from 2017 to 2018. It, yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I didn't really edit much on Photoshop. I kind of just thought, eh, it looks okay. But now that I know how it looks like from screen to paper, I can, you know, grow accordingly and make my changes whenever I do. A, another scene, but anyway, yeah. I knew I was gonna cut off somehow because I actually didn't scan the pages, I just took pictures of them. Wow. But yeah, so I'm very happy. I'm considering I'm actually going to cut the strip off the first page so that it kind of has a layered effect, but I have to figure out how to do that nicely so I don't ruin them. And yeah, that's that's it for today. Shop update. Gonna be in the shop update. <laughs> Bye.
so I've been trying to water this guy um, and I've been changing the watering I guess uh, cycle watering schedule to try to fit um, to try to get these leaves because I know these are how the leaves are supposed to be but no matter what I do I feel like um, they just get wrinkled after a while and I try to keep it humid I mean it's in a bucket in my paint bucket guys and I filled it with water and then I let it sit and I don't know I, I mean I, I try to water it um, only when the soil gets you know on the top the top inch of the soil gets dry feels dry I've tried watering and I water it thoroughly I try to mist around this area so that it stays humid um, and I someone help me it the leaves keep growing I mean it's not like it's dying so I'm sure the roots are fine um, and there, there's little baby ones here too but for some reason they just like to be wrinkled
clothes in the same spot because I filmed the intro and the outro on the same day. Uh, <laughs> still, still the same awkward person. But anyway, yeah, so you saw me working on my Japan zine um, concept art. I decided to go with a smaller size, um, like what you saw. So it's just gonna be, I'm thinking of doing an 11 by 17 page and just cutting and folding that into um, something that's, I wanna say it's three by four per uh, Here is, actually, you know what? Yeah, so here is like an example. I just cut up eight and a half by 11 sheet and I'm gonna make it reversible. So one side is gonna be food and the other side is gonna be um, plants. Uh, or well, maybe I'll just make it both food. I went to Hokkaido and I was also in Tokyo, so I might split the two. Um, and you saw me working in my new Moleskine. Get to sh spill much of the process because I really only had 13% left and it was also playing music, so I kind of wanted to zone out and listen to the music and draw and not be distracted by the fact that there is a camera behind me. So this is what I did, and I'm really actually surprised by the people. Well, actually, no, no, let's not. I mean, Fran, Fran, <laughs> Fran is the reason why I decided to try the mole sky. I know she said something about it being the Rolls Royce of sketchbooks. So honestly, of course it's gonna be great, right? We trust Fran, and Fran, and Fran, in Fran we trust. In Fran, in Fran we trust. Uh, and then I also did this. I try to do another spread uh, every day, but I was kind of just, you know, making sketches and testing out markers and things like that. I, honestly, I don't even know what this is. I was trying to limit myself to just one palette, and then I ended up adding colors, and then I ended up hating it. So I stopped working on it after a while, and then I ended up just doodling in it, and I think that's the last page. But so far, I'm loving this sketchbook. Okay, here I have some stickers. So I actually added, well, oh, I actually I brought the um, the little cheese puff brush holders as well. They're really cute. I want to keep one. Uh, I reordered the. Floral uterus, floral ovaries stickers um, for Etsy and Mori, but I decided to try doing the clear version. So the ones I already had on the shelf was white vinyl. Um, I decided to try seeing how it would work on clear and they're beautiful. I also have these Stop Asian Hate stickers. So everyone knows hate is a virus. So I actually tried out sticker apps, um, <laughs> holographic sticker vinyl, and I did a little hate virus. And then I thought it was cute at first until after I ordered it and got it in. And then I realized, hmm, kind of looks like if you, everyone buys it and um, everyone's wearing it, it's kind of like we're spreading the hate virus another type of concept but maybe I'm it's an oh, I don't know maybe I'm overthinking about this but I I did not plan on that okay I just wanted it to be play on the name so I have this one this tiger one tiger pink and red man I've been I've, I've really been into a pink and red well actually no not right now um, during this time I was really into the pink and red palette I am selling this at Mori and on my shop and half of the proceeds will be donated to to um, Hate is Virus. And I believe I also ordered another set of Froggo's sticker sheets. And um, because I, if you guys come to, to uh, if you guys are in Honolulu or on the island um, and you shop at Mori, I was out for a while, so I'm restocking there. And I'm also going to be restocking on Etsy. Yeah, I have a bunch of stickers coming in and postcards as well. I'm trying to move away from the whole... Actually, maybe not. I'm trying to do less clay pins on my Etsy shop and I'm going to be making them exclusively for the Mori shop. I, I don't have as much time and I want to focus on this graphic novel that I'm actually supposed to be writing. <laughs> 
I'm trying to get to I'm trying to get my brand into more of the illustration art comic graphic novel or children's book you know I want it to be more art focused crafts I do like to make occasionally so I will be including a lot of those or you know I'll, I'll be kind of rotating what I'm gonna be making and um, adding to my shop as I like as I do updates and whatnot so that can range from I mean I have so many interests and, and I like making I'm like dabbling in different crafts so it's gonna be just a variety and basically Russian roulette every time so for example I know I want to make some mask holders we did mask holders some k-pop keychains and y'all know about the clay thing so I mean I'm not gonna be letting go of clay I'm just gonna be doing less because it actually takes up a lot of time and I'm gonna be and as I guess and in its place I'm gonna be working on more stickers postcards zines um, like sketchbooks and so I have a lot of those planned and This table is really wobbly and I'm still trying to figure out why because I'm sure I did it all correctly. But it's really huge. It's really it's huge. Like, this is my arm. So that's not a good comparison. Is my foot. Um yeah, so that wasn't good either. <laughs> I will see you hopefully next month. I'm gonna be working on an, on a bunch of October pops and I'm gonna update on what I'm actually working on for my master's degree because I am, yeah, <laughs> guys, I am in a master's program and I'm supposed to be doing a, and my thesis is supposed to be a graphic novel, so I've just been working that, working on that in the background and not telling anyone because, you know, that's my own thing, but if you guys are interested, you know, let me know. It's sci-fi, it's aliens. It's a whole bunch of random stuff that you probably have never seen me draw before. Anyway, I hope you guys have a nice day and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, awkward people. <laughs> Saying bye to myself because I'm probably, oh my God, I'm so awkward. Anyway.